Hello. Now, when you look at me right now, you probably think that it's me, Sal, talking to you. But really, what is talking to you is a society of over 30 trillion cells that have somehow collectively convinced itself that it is Sal. And what we're going to study in these lessons are exactly that. That even though we think we're one unified organism, or frankly, all the living things we see are, we say, oh, that's a plant, and that's a frog, and, and that's a pigeon, and that's a sow. It's not just a sow. It's made up of trillions and trillions of things called cells, which, will, as we'll learn, they're the fundamental building blocks of life. What makes them alive? And if we were to go at an at a, at a even more basic scale, all of a sudden, things are not alive. It's a fascinating philosophical question. And you might think, that one thirty trillionth of me might, might, might be some kind of small, simple thing. But as we'll see, there's a whole universe in each cell. Unimaginable complexity that scientists are still trying to understand. In these lessons, we're going to talk about the history of mankind trying to struggle with the basic units of life. Is there a basic unit? And, and how, do we, how do we understand how it works, also known as cell theory? We're going to learn about the different types of cells that even exist. Things like prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Things like plant and animal cells. What's similar? What's different? And finally, we're going to learn about parts of the cell, especially things like, say, the membrane, which in and of itself is a fascinating and complex piece of machinery. So we're about to delve into some of the deepest ideas that mankind has always faced. What is life? What makes one thing alive and another thing not alive? What is the most basic unit of life? Where did it come from? We're going to touch on all of those in the next few lessons. And I encourage you, if you want to dive deeper and get more context and get practice to make sure that you're understanding these concepts, look at these lessons on KhanAcademy.org.